AI is so cool, and XIR2 Pro 2.0 has stepped up the game with even faster findability finding it's faster. Hey, this is Scott Wenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, we're gonna talk about XIR Pro 2.0. It's even faster now. In this video, I really wanna talk about, well, it's findability features. Let's say you're looking at a collection of photos from a photo session, and in, in that collection, you wanna find only the photos where there's smiling faces. Well, you can do that in XIR Pro 2.0. Let's head over to Lightroom so you can check out what you can do in this update. Today in XIR Pro 2.0, I wanna show you how you could easily find faces that are smiling in your batch of photographs from a session. You could go ahead and basically create a collection of all of the photos from a certain session that you had, which is exactly what I did right here. And this is from a holiday Christmas uh, photo session I did for a baby and then the parents. And this was the baby's first photo session outside of the parents' phones. <laughs> so. She was not used to the strobes. She was a little intimidated at times and so on, but it worked out really well. There's a lot of cute photos. Basically, once you have uh, XIR Pro 2.0 installed and you have gone through the uh, initialization phase, which depending on the size of your catalog could take a while, could go could go fast. It, it, it really depends on the size of your of your images, uh, of your ca of your catalog, your overall catalog, and also the computer that you're running, how, how, how fast and powerful your computer is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to a library plug in extras, search for faces, and what it's gonna do is gonna bring up this dialog. With this open, I can select one face, single portrait, two faces, several faces, or any faces. Then I can select if I want it to be a baby, child, teenager, adult, or elderly person. And then you can select the uh, gender of the person that you want, male or female, which I have that not checked right now. And then you can turn on if you want to be smiling or no smiling. In this case, I want it to be a smiling person. Xire is not recognizing any smiles from the baby in this entire collection. You can see I have it set to film strip instead of the whole catalog. If I switch it to the whole catalog, it will then find more uh, single faces that are smiling. Now, because it doesn't recognize the child, and you can see right here, there's one of her smiling right here, there's one of her smiling right here, and it's there, right? But it's a baby. So the software, the AI, the artificial intelligence is not recognizing perfectly the baby's smile. If I were to switch it to any, you'll see that right away it says there's 31 photos. So I'm just gonna just go ahead and hit start, let that go. What this basically means is that if you are culling photos and looking for only smiling photos, then when it comes to babies, XIR Pro 2.0 may not be the perfect choice for finding those photos. You might have to do those manually, but for adults where it's more obvious if there's a smile because there's there's teeth, there's more facial expressions than the little uh, baby giggle that happens sometimes, uh, that it, it's much easier this way. But now if I was to go here, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of smiling faces from the parents. Uh, again, she's happy here. The baby is happy. You just can't tell that the baby is happy. It's not obvious, right? So if it's not obvious to you, right, then it's not gonna be obvious to the AI. But I can tell you as a photographer, the baby was happy. She was smiling, she was laughing, she was having a good time. Now what happens when you go ahead and do something like this, searching for faces, is it actually creates a collection called XIR Search, and that shows up there, and that just, that collection gets automatically updated every single time you do a new search for either faces or people or, or anything like that, it does that. From here, you can go on and you can do your star ratings to see which one to like the best, and you can then go ahead and do some edits. For example, I did this one, and then I actually edited this one, so you can see uh, there's one, there's a, the next frame that I actually did some editing on. There you go, that's, that's, that's how easy that is. Sure, XIR Pro, the first version, had the ability to do some things like this, but it is faster now. It is so much faster now, and they're adding new features like their People Finder, where it's actual facial recognition, so you can find actual people's faces. It's so cool, so cool. I really recommend that if you are a heavy Lightroom user, you check out XR Pro 2.0 and see what it can do for your workflow, for speeding things up for you, for keywording even better. Check it out, XR Pro 2.0. See you in the next video.